What a dreary day. It's rainy. Gary Lezak said we're gonna have cloudy days for five days. And he kind of warned people because you know it's rainy days. Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. Do you guys remember that song? Karen Karen Carpenter. I heard that the other day. Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. And there's that one weird verse. What is it? Hanging around, nothing but do but frown. Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. It's weird. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so, hey, what's up, everybody? I forgot to say that. It's Father Jerry. It's the uh, Wednesday almost uh, at the end of the Christmas season. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, Christy's back with us because, you know, last Wednesday I had to do it all by myself, and that's why it was terrible because Christy wasn't here. It was good. It, it was fun. Uh, so anyway, yeah, uh, it is rainy outside. Well, it's not really rainy, but it's it's dreary, whatever. So Christy brought me a nice hot cocoa to get me going, so that's a good thing. Um, and, you know, actually with rain outside, this coming Sunday we conclude the Christmas season with the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. So um, if it was not normal, if it wasn't COVID days, I would probably do a, a renewal of baptismal promises and then a sprinkling of the holy water, you know, like we do during Easter season. That's one of the options to do this Sunday, but I'm not going to do it because I can't sprinkle everybody who's watching at home. Or you could sprinkle yourself. You know, you could just have a water bottle like this and just spray yourself with water and everything else. Which, by the way, I told Chrissy she needs to help me. This is a great little thing I've used for classes before. So I'm going to stand up, and Chrissy's going to spray water on me, hopefully. And just watch this shirt. She's getting me all wet. So, uh, okay. Okay. Is it working yet? Yeah. So, isn't this cool? I use this for kids and for baptism prep class, saying that, you know, uh, before baptism, we're just kind of a clean slate. But once the waters of baptism hit us, as our church teaches, uh, we take on the image of Christ. Isn't that cool? Can you see it, Chrissy? Yeah, you can. So, see, it's, it's becoming Jesus. If That's I go so like cool. this, there you go. Then you can really see it. Can you see it, everyone? Mm -hmm. Isn't that awesome? This would be a great tool for you to buy for your children, those of you who have uh, kids or grandchildren. Um, or maybe we should sell them and mark it up a lot so we get money. <laughs> Anyway, that's kind of fun. So yeah, this uh, this Sunday Sorry. is... I tried. There's water all over. I... <laughs> Some Kleenex. I did not wet my pants. <laughs> I shouldn't say that out loud. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's good. It's all good. That's what happens, right? Live TV. Live TV. And the sacraments are meant to be lively and crazy anyway, so that happens. Believe me, I've got all kinds of stories I could tell you about baptisms and everything else. Uh, my mom used to say that when a bap if a baby were to cry when they're being baptized, that was a good thing because that means the devil was leaving them. I said, well, I'm never going to say that to a parent. You know, that's for sure. So, yeah, this Sunday is the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord, in which is we're going to wrap up the Christmas season. So, by the way, if you want a poinsettia, if you come to the 10 o'clock Mass or afterwards, you can take some home because we need to get rid of all this. Um, but uh, we met as a staff after all the Christmas. We evaluate everything and been talking about ways to uh, hopefully encourage more people to come back. We had an event here a week ago. We had a Mass in the church and there was a lot of people. Um, and several people came up who hadn't been coming for, for whatever reasons. And they said, you know, once they saw how... Uh, how safe we make everything and we practicing social distancing and all the sanitizing and all that uh, they said that that's kind of convinced them that they want to come back so just know that we, we do a lot you know to help everybody out and we'd love to have you come back so but some of the things that uh, we've been doing we kind of realize that it's not as necessary anymore so uh, starting this weekend or right away we've made some changes for you all I want you to know about uh, first thing is we are still going to have you register for the weekend masses. We think that's important for a lot of reasons. Uh, so we ask you to do that. But we've changed the registration thing on our website. It's a lot simpler. Uh, so very simple. Um, so all you really have to do is uh, write your name, your email, and how many people are going to come with you. Uh, we don't need to know their names or anything else. Uh, that way we just have a number of people. And again, we kind of still have to max it out at 225. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll know about that. Uh, so uh, just know that registration is going to be a lot easier. So check it out and uh, yeah, do that. 
And then the other thing is we're going to um, unlock the main doors of the church and also the south bell tower doors. So you can park on that side of the lot. Some of our older people said they would prefer to not have to walk so far, so you can do that. So those will be unlocked during all the liturgies, um, 30 minutes beforehand or so. Um, and then uh, we're going to keep them unlocked during Mass, but that doesn't mean you could show up late. Do not do that unless you have a really legitimate reason. Drives me crazy. Uh, so anyway, but just do that. The main doors and the bell tower doors will be unlocked and remain unlocked. We're not going to prop the doors open because every time we've been doing that during the cold or any time else, I think of my mother. And you all can say it with me. What would our mother say if we left the doors open? Are you raised in a barn? Right? Sean, would your mother say that? She would yeah. We'd say, are you trying to cool the neighborhood? Are you trying to cool the neighborhood? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Then my mom would get really snarky sometimes mm -hmm. and say, are you going to pay the electrical bill? <laughs> No, I'm not going to. Um, Sean just decided to walk in and uh, <laughs> snoop on our video. So anyway, um, the other thing is, too, we still want you to arrive early, please. You know, um, uh, we've had people getting here on time, but it's like the last five minutes, everybody's coming. And it's fine, but we still have to check you in, and we don't want you to wait outside. I don't want you to get cold. Uh, so uh, try to arrive as early as possible. And we've also opened up the main restrooms, you know, off the um, main entrance of the church down the hallway there. Across so, from Holy Family Hall. Uh, yeah, across from Holy Family Hall. So uh, those will be open on the weekends, so you can use those. Um, and, you know, you don't need to use the one behind the, uh, the sanctuary in the church. Uh, you can use these as well. So uh, just a few little changes uh, for now. And then in February, we're going to maybe do some other things. We'll see. But it's all, again, to keep you all safe. So... Um, I think that's it. I don't know. You know, don't, even though it's, um, you know, rainy days and Mondays might get you down, you know, but, um, don't be, don't, don't be down, you know, don't be a Debbie Downer. Uh, <laughs> life's, life's still good. Uh, so, uh, we'll just keep moving forward everybody. But if you need anything, as always, let Corpus Christi know, we'd be glad to help you and, uh, let's continue to move together in faith. So that's it for this week. God bless y'all. Have a good one.